Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on screen. So what is a screen? So why do we even need screen? So first thing is, this is a server that I used to run my code in. And I'm pretty sure that if you are looking for this tutorial on screen, you're also running your code on some sort of server, right? So when running code on server, the biggest problem that we face is that whenever we run the code and then the server disconnects, our code running stops. I mean, there can be two issues here. Number one is maybe your internet connection has, has been disrupted. And so your connection is now gone, basically. So now your code, which was running before, it's now stopped. Number two, it's good that your code was running before and it stopped fine. But now another thing is like, I mean, if your code is running for maybe two hours or three hours or maybe for two days, right? You wouldn't want to keep your like computer on for that long, right? Because if you want to turn off your computer, you need to turn off the server connection as well. And then you need to turn off your computer. And then your code is again gone. It will not run anymore, right? It will stop running. So we, do, we want to solve these two problems. There is one more problem, number three. That problem is you can run only one code at a time in your server, right? So if I run some code right here, say I run this code, let me run some code. Let me see what I have here. Python main by.py, right? So I'm running this code. So this code is running. Now I cannot run main hello.py right now. I cannot do that. So let's stop this. So screen allows us to open up multiple terminals, multiple uh, instances of our server and run multiple code simultaneously. So I will also show you how to do this. So I will repeat this thing. So first of all, even if our server stops, it doesn't matter, our code will keep running. Even if we disconnect our server, and if, even if we shut down our computer, the code will keep running in the backend. And number three is you can run multiple codes at the, at the same time using multiple screens. So I will now show you how to open a screen. First of all, screen ls, this is a command which will show what screens we have available at our disposal. So nothing is available right now. Let me also show you one more thing. So this MD file, I will actually give you this MD file in the description, in the link. So you can get all the commands here. So I will discuss all these commands today when I will be going through my tutorial. So don't, you don't need to write these things down. You will have them in the description link. So first of all, we don't have any screen currently. Let's open a screen. So how do we open a screen? So we just write screen S and then the name of the screen. So let's say the screen name is hello, right? So we have now opened a screen and this is a screen, basically. This is a screen, screen zero, and we are inside a new screen and let us run our main hello.py right here. So Python main hello.py. Okay, now it's going on. I can see that there are printing going on. So what I will do is I will not stop running the code. I will not halt the process. Rather, I will detach from the screen. So what does detaching from the screen mean? So detach from the screen means going out of the screen back to your normal main, the main terminal. So let me type in control A D. So if I try to type control A D, I am now out of the screen. Let me clear this up. So this is basically my main terminal. So again, let me repeat. If you type in control A D together, you detach from the screen. Let me actually show you again what screens I have available right now. So I have this screen named hello available right now. Okay, fine. Now let's do one thing. Let's create another screen. Screen S. Let's name it this time by. Okay. Okay, now we have another screen. And let's let's actually run Python main by.py. Okay, it's running. Fine. Let's keep it running. Let's not interrupt the process. Let's just do control A D. Okay, fine. I'll just clear these things up. Let's again see what screens we have available at our disposal. So we have these two screens available at our disposal. Now let's find out if both of the codes are running inside these two screens. So how do we go inside a screen? I mean, we have already seen how to detach from a screen using control A D. But how do we attach to a screen? So we attach to a screen using this command. So let me type this and show you screen r. So let's attach to hello. So hello. So you can see that it's still going on. The code is still running. There are a lot of hello being printed over. 
let me again go back control ad and it has from this wheel so again let me go into buy so let me go into the screen buy so you can see that buy is being printed here all over the place right so basically what i have shown you here is both of the screen are running simultaneously two ports right let me go get out of here again control a d so data thing so now you have understood that we are running two ports simultaneously we could have run three four or five ports as well and it's running in the back end so even if i cross this or, or my internet connection is gone no worries it will keep running so just come back after coming back if you simply type in screener hello you will see that the code is running so I, I will just stop the code now control c i will just interrupt and i will clear this up let me go back okay so now you have seen how we have created two screens right so now obviously you are not going to create an infinite number of screens right you sometimes want to delete or terminate some screen as well so how can you do that so let's do that let's do the termination right now so the way we do this is screen x s then you have to write the name of the screen let's say the name of the screen is hello and then let's quit so if you do that and now if i type screen ls you will see that the hello screen is gone it's no longer available so in a similar fashion we can also kill sorry we can also kill the pi screen right so it is gone as well now if you look at screen ls it is gone as well so it is that easy so basically you create a screen you attach to it you run some process you detach from the screen and then whenever you require you attach into a screen again right and then if you need you can kill a screen as well so that is how we use a screen in a server right it's it's very easy and you don't need to install anything because in linux servers screen is already there as a software so you don't need to install anything else thank you thanks everyone